If you add the SQL based database, you can go this way and you can select your technology stacks or templates or your repositories. And if you are non SQL world, then you have to select your database and build the necessary templates or necessary repositories calling and implement your endpoints. That's why I try to give it to consented. What's the difference between the SQL world and non SQL world? How the, the, how the, the different effect or different um, development approach for the your 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 warrior models i mean your jpa models how it did it depend on which backend server you have it or which backend server and client is expecting from from your side from your company then you need to decide and and build this 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 infrastructure and build the development and put it there in the client side so here I try to give it to some overview, overview information like how JPA and JP, JP, JPQL, like JPA, everybody knows JPA data, JPA, uh, JPA Spring data JPA is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a act as a layer, top of the JPA layer. So that means in the in downside, that's in the picture I said, the picture I said here, so you have a, you have a JPA layers and the top of the JPA layer Spring Data JPA. That's what I mean here the, the top of the JPA layer. So it's two ways because in a lot of cases, if you have a really big application, a lot of cases you need to be many times to query your data sets. Not the crude operation, simply crude, create update delete operation. You need a lot of complex queries to to to, to, to build some reports some build the statistics or to build some graphs or some uh, summary information or abstract information in that case you need to build many complex queries into the, your, your your entity models or even do your backend models backend service backend databases so here there's two possibility i will show you detail when i start the developments i will really show you detail spring data jpa drive the name name method based query uh, uh, query name method based I mean the entity entity name based query repository you define your entity name let's say I have a first name last name so that means there is two entity first name last name the find by first name find by last name I, that's I mean so you define your find by first name find by last name in the repository just call it into the implementation class and implement those things I will show you this one so the, 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 that's just only theoretical discussion so define the uh, Java persistent query language in uh, you can uh, maybe in the native query simply a SQL query but uh, then with the SQL annotations the query annotation only support subset of them that's the that's the the constraint or drawback for the jpql this is a constraint you need to be thinking about so you cannot put with the, the jpql had not such all support of the sql standards because you know sql is already standard there is a many more functionalities core functionalities those things is not still not possible with the jpql so this is the constraint for the constraint or drawback but still is continuing to come up the 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 same platform same level so and i've tried to give it here the the java persistence query language the jpql is a platform independent object oriented programming language and make query against entities that's i said this is most important make the queries against entities stored in the relational database or doesn't matter i'll write down here my databases mean many sql databases or non-sql databases it doesn't matter depending who which database if you have sql then sql based and if you're non-sql then non-sql based it's just depend it's automatically work when you define your entity model or domain model or that's things and it's, it's in, in in the back in the background level it's, it's done and heavily and the, this is the heavily really is really closer to the sql level that's i said here so it's in the if you in the annotation level query annotation there's a possibility you can write write down the native queries really really sql queries so you see the sql selection queries like and you can pass it and and condition or in in condition or in causes i can say like equality ignore cases between before after null not null contains and start with end with and then and so on so forth there is a many more functionalities you can google it and look for closely i just start here give it to really clear overview how it works and how i try to integrate those concepts into my implementations into my one of the 
uh, of these two microservice application how can i fit those the the every requirement every specification into the into my my rest endpoint implementation and then you can get the clear idea what what the mean what we professionally works so here as you can say we, everybody knows the the overview of KITED api is and top of the specification interface you see the uh, jpa jpa KITED api is there's a that is a really really efficient the query structure select from where group by order by those things so you can google it and get the really it's in the with the jpa jpa KTD api you can build dynamic queries it's very efficient and it is it is done by the runtime so it's and that is another really important interface is i will show you when i give you to two example from here the tuple uh, tuple examples like uh, you have a query builders and query in the criteria query tuple root and then and then you have a list, list of tuples They're very efficient and very quick and it has some possibility to uh, it, it is also the entity level uh, query query models uh, query syntax models you can select multiple values from the from the from the entities and so on and so forth the specification this is the most important one this is a modern one and it is has a more more advantage uh, for over the KITD APIs and KITD APIs you need to be do a lot of boilerplate code and even though tuple also but specification already overcome those the boilerplate codes you can simply do automatic uh, predicates you can write down in the query and then this is the based on the specifications interpa uh, interface is based on the DDA, DDA, D, triple D that means the domain driven design the specifications defined in as the predicate over the entity i said here this is the most important part entity and then orm models uh, the object relational mapping an object model or domain is like and and then you can end or conditions or, or condition and so on and so forth that's what i mean <coughs> sorry so here is the only the another overview for the query dsl uh, this is one of the most important the latest one in top of the pin you can say in top of the in parallel or top or parallel with the specification or tuple interfaces and there's a most important and really efficient interfaces that define it in the so object relational mapping framework on top of the enterprise in the core enterprise java allowed above clear and precise persistence code and domain logic and query structure like sim very simple you can query the data set like simple query and filtering ordering grouping complex query with join sub queries and modify the data sets and this is this is possible yeah, when the query dsl this is the most latest update or latest development from the spring or in java enterprise level <clears throat> There are many, many code features for the DSL provide, including working with the raw SQL. That I mean, the SQL world and non-SQL world, non-persistent non collections, no SQL databases, full text search. This is that means this is the query DSL is really latest technology or latest concept idea over the over the JPA, KTD APIs or, or Tuple Enterprise interfa uh, interface and specification interface. That's what I mean. So this is the my one of the schemes for the I, I include here. So if you go to my channels like UV subgroup, you have the all the playlist what do I discuss here. So there is the in total 170 videos. You can look for it which one, which one is needed for you, or you can get the overall idea how I mean you know, the technology stacks, the process, the flow, theoretical, practical, and even though enterprise level application. There is a Git repository is linked with that one, and other Facebook groups is linked that we can go take the source code from the git in my beginning uv sub this is a git git name is same uv subgroup you can take from the source code and look for this source code and build the your respective application what i have it in here so that's i said here i already started the two microservices uh, i will show you next screen gets i include the discussions and then uh, the, as a professional structure that's i mean every time i say it, this is the professional structure what we did every day day to day life so this way we define is that this is the microservice for the registering the user user registration with address information means the geographic information where the user is located because and the other application look like here this is my really application that i mean so all the 
plots information if you are living in a city area there is a plots and plots have the buildings building has the floors and the unit we have to build these applications like really modularize really build multiple rest and apis and and then call this rest api to build my gui with angular based or doesn't matter angular or timely or jsp or rails or javascript based angular, or on any any react frameworks to build the gui so the core part to build the apis and install or configure install this api into machines and then call this api to build our our guis that's that's the idea for this one i mean this is the gui part just look for this gui part so so now i said thank you just 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 i try to share my knowledge what i have it last couple of years and you can put your comments and ideas and and subscribe the channel slide down your comments what can we do for you and what's the idea you have it into the your mind and just share with us and uh, we will try our best to give it to you uh, the feedbacks and 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 share the, my 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 channel with your friends or your companies or your colleagues and then and integrate and and, and integrate the, my source code in the github just download it integrate it and write down or you can even though you can make a new branch for my source code and integrate to some source the code the open source code sharing and you can do and i will see you later i will continue the developments just follow the the this to do microservice developments and then and end of the development is done then i will integrate those microservices in the different bond technology and and then so on so just follow the channels and write down your comments and and now i say say goodbye bye bye see you later bye bye bye